Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, Countdown Vampire. When we last left off, we were exploring uh, the casino, the dark, the desert moon. I was going to say the dark moon, the desert moon. Uh, we came across uh, a young lady called Misato. Uh, she didn't want to be left alone, but uh, unfortunately, we kind of had to leave her alone. We found the nine millimeter pistol. Which, yay, question mark. Oh, is this not the way we came? And I did do some gambling off camera for about 20 minutes or so. There's a machine that makes lucky coins. It doesn't work because the power's off. Uh, I don't actually know what a lucky coin is, but okay. Right, uh, we had like 60 odd money. We now got 546. Uh, I'm noticing that 546 money is apparently not a lot. Oh, sold out. Wait. So, can we only buy, like, one? Oh, that's savage. So, even having loads of money doesn't really matter, because, like, you can only... Oh. Yes, there's only one drink in each thing, in each vending machine, which is a little bit ass. So, I don't know. I don't know if there's a... Well, I guess we've only got one inventory slot left. I think we'll leave it open for now. Unless you can buy, like, ammo or something later on. Maybe weapons. don't know what the lucky coins are, but it's nice to be able to fucking move. Door to the Screaming Moon is locked. Hey, we can actually move again, though. Look at this. Dude. Keith's got a bit of a spring in his... Literally got a spring in his step, man. He's bouncing those cheeks down these hallways. Jesus. So, I thought this was the same area. Maybe it isn't. Ah, okay, so you've got a door at the back, and you've got a door at the front. I'm really hoping that we can get another... Okay, Alice. Uh, I'm really hoping that we can get another uh, map, because I'm feeling a little bit lost without my map. I'm sure this isn't that complicated, but I have a severe case of the dumbs. But anyway, let's go back. I'm pretty sure we can use the key back here. And we've got 9mm now. Yeah, this is where we need to be. We've got 9mm. So, we should be able to defend ourselves against something. Whatever, I guess. And he does use the keys automatically as well. You don't have to, like, select them in your inventory, which is really annoying, and I always hated that. Uh. Okay. Ah, oh, this place looks fancy. Um. Well, nice try, Keith. I would have personally tried to climb the ladder. Probably would have made things a little bit easier, but... Oh. Hey, we can be sexy. There's an elevator, but it doesn't... But it doesn't to turn on the power. Cool. I can read. I can actually write better than this game as well. Believe that or not. Ah, so there's another door there. Ooh, we have a gift. What is the gift? Please be tranquilized. Oh. Ah, ID for Club Legan. Okay. I guess we can go back to Legan if we want. I mean, this game... Oh, hello. Uh, the hell is that? Ah. Uh, Don't think the tranquilizer. Why does it say loading on the weapon that's equipped? Yeah, don't think the tranquilizer is going to sort this thing out. Oh, fuck. This thing could move, man. Chris, take a piece of the action. Oh, my. Oh, God. Oh, he's getting up for more. 
Ow! Are you down? Down now? He's really hurt us too. Shit. The fuck was that? I mean... Okay, they're easier to... Oh man, he really busted us up, didn't he? Alright, we've got plenty of bullets at least. So we can go back to Club Legan. Which, if I can remember where that was... Oh, there's <laughs> Legan's down there. Okay. Is there nothing else here? It doesn't look like it. So, we have weird uh, bug men, I guess. They're not very tough, but they do a surprising amount of damage, and they really do knock you for six as well. Man, they were knocking our ass all over this place. Jeez. Uh, oh, that's... Okay, I thought there was a door there, but it's actually uh, below us, isn't it? Right, let's go check out Legan, I guess. I don't know if the game's going to give us a map. That would be nice. So there's nothing left upstairs on the catwalk. Uh, right, yeah, because there's no doors up here or anything, so I guess we can write this area off now we're gonna get like bug men everywhere now and we don't have a map for this area at all which is a bit aids so this literally is just above us <coughs> right I'm not seeing I haven't saved it for ages either I'm not seeing um Ooh. Enemies respawning at the moment. Um, okay. Thank you. Now we can go in. Right. So this is where we actually first started. Now, is there anything down here? There's a lot of bodies. I don't think we can fondle the bodies. Ooh. This is messy. Like, why would we be able to go back? Ah. Door. There's an elevator, but no power, so it's not moving. Okay, so the power is a bit of an issue here. It's kind of a barrier. <laughs> a big barrier to, um... To us right now. We need to get some juice flowing in this place. I'm not talking about that black vampire juice. There is a door back there. The lady that's been cut in half there. This game's pretty grisly. I like it. Oh, yeah, please. How many rounds have we got for that bad boy? Nice. I don't know how many rounds can stack. Seems like a lot. Which is fine. The game seems to be overly stingy. Yeah, we've got no map for here either. The game is overly stingy on save, save stations. Oh yeah, that's not moving, is it? I know there was a door here somewhere. It wasn't down here, was it? Okay, that that doesn't that kind of looks like we should be able to go down there, but I guess we can't. There's a lady that's been cut in half. Rest her bones. Ah, here we go. What's through this door? Oh. We got bad nicks. When in doubt, get the stun gun out. We go down there? I guess not. Well, whatever's over there, we can aim at it. Ah, uh, we got more gambling machines. There's that unfortunate woman that's just been splattered. And this dude here that looks like he's had his guts stomped out. Alright. Oh, okay. Vampires. Right. We can handle vampires. Oh, there's a few of them. Hey, gents. Ah, there's the fear moon. Okay, there's a lot of gambling machines here. I'm really not sure whether we should be striving to use them or not. Ah, right. There's another 
Another door there. I'm guessing that's just going to lead us around in a loop. I have no idea. Right, okay. Uh, can we fire, like, down at these guys? I'm guessing we can't. Oh! Actually, we can. I approve of that. Uh, I'm not really sure what we're hitting. Now, if we put these guys out... I'm guessing there's like a time limit before they get back up again. Uh, not sure. Already out of breath. Uh, okay. Hey, we've already been here, haven't we? Right, let's give him some goop. Hey, friend. How would you like some anesthetic? That made you feel good. Right, we must have already downed him at least one. There's some glowing eyes here. We fondle the glowing eyes. I guess. There's a switch. Turn it on. Aye. Oh. Seems power has been supplied to the elevators. Uh, that's a good thing, I guess. So, progress? Yeah, this is just one giant, like, loop-de-loop -loop thing. Cool. Okay. Uh, transitions between scenes seem to take uh, quite a while to chug through as well. I don't remember that um, being that slow in Resident Evil. But it has been a considerable amount of time since I've played the OG games. Now, where was that door? Go have a go on these gambling machines. Why not, right? I mean, the chance of us actually winning anything on these is like zero. It probably is. I was going to say, if this was a more popular game, a more well-known game. Oh, we won two. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if this was a more popular game, people probably would have sat down and done the maths. Hey, we won 10. That's a lot of effort to win 10 credits. Like, you know. To get three bars. I mean, I guess if you get seven, seven, uh, three sevens, you win a thousand. Which, I guess, is a decent chunk of change. I don't really know. Ah. But these just seem like they're just really not worth the effort. To be honest. Ah, fuck you. Yep. Yep. Really not worth the effort. I like the fact that we can take a break to just do some light gambling on the side, you know. I mean, that's what... Funny enough, that's what modern... You know, AAA gaming, especially sports games these days. They're just slot machines. So, Fear Moon. We've turned the power on. So, I'm so... We've got, like, potentially so many ways that we can go. The key is damaged. I can't open the door. Right, so Fear Moon we can't go through. Fine. There was somewhere an elevator, I'm sure. Because the game was moaning at us saying that we couldn't go through there. Already out of breath. See, I don't know, I guess that's poorly translated. Already out of breath. I guess that means she's dead. Uh your guess is as good as mine. I wouldn't put money on that. Um, go through here. Where does this lead again? Uh, oh, this is where our, our friendly chap died in the beginning. He took a few out, though, admittedly. What a boss. He did some damage before he went down. But sadly, down he went. 
Where was that elevator? Is it just like the, the one upstairs that we can use now? Because I'm pretty sure we found an elevator down here somewhere and it said it was out of power. Ah, I'm sure it was down here, wasn't it? Down this little alleyway. No? No? I guess not. Alright. Am I going to have to draw my own map? Because the game doesn't give you one. Is it actually going to come to that? I think it might, you know. I'm sure there was a fucking elevator down in one of these corridors. I mean, that blatantly looks like you should be able to walk through it, but you can't. Alright, well, let's go back upstairs then, I suppose. And let's go see where that elevator goes. Uh, that just brings us back up here. Oh god, I'm so confused as to where to go. I am so confused. Um, oh, I reckon actually we might be able to go back through there. Right, okay, well the map's working in this room now. Now we know there's some, yeah, some of these chaps through here. Can't tell if I was hitting her or not. Guess she's down. Come on, love. Take your medicine. Oh, no. She's, is she waking up? Yeah, she's waking up. Come on. There you go. I got, I got the cure for ails here. Literally. There you go, love. Feel better for that. I'm hoping we're going to find out a little bit more about this vampire disease. Because it's like the concept behind it is quite interesting. But whether they're going to have something interesting, um, you know, to satisfy our interests, I don't know. I've heard, yeah, one of the criticisms, I didn't actually read a review of this game. Because all the reviews basically panned it and said it was shit and don't bother playing it. Um, oh, that's Sydney. But I have heard from the reviews the story is meant to be absolutely dreadful. But, you know, I mean... Weren't all the games pretty terrible from a story perspective back then? You know, Resident Evil wasn't exactly bloody, you know... Poetry, was it? Let's be honest. As long as it's good enough to get the job done. Now, can we? Right, we can mix those two. Okay. So what you're telling me is a juice box is a green herb. And one of those is a red herb. Man, they really did follow all the... the OG tropes, didn't they? Locked from the other side. Resident Evil really did write the book. There's so many of these companies followed. And I don't even just mean like their pre-rendered graphics, but like, you know, everything followed Resident Evil's control system. Well, close enough anyway. This game certainly has its own spin on the control system, which is questionable. So I think we need to go down Nancy. If we go down Nancy. Yeah, that will take us to the elevator room. So let's go do that. I'm not sure how... Should we be saving these health items? Is there going to be enough health items along the way? Do we need to save money? Are we meant to be saving our pennies and buying health items? Like... You know, there's so many questions, man. So many questions. And it sucks when you're always injured, because my god, we move slowly. It was fun being on full health for a few seconds. Enemy attacks as well. I think the vampires, my god, they've got an attack range, haven't they? 
Very difficult to get away from them as well. Right. Let's load up. Oh. Beautiful CG there. Very low quality CG, to be honest. Oh, save room. When you think how good uh, Resident Evil... Ooh! Shotgun. Uh, how good Resident Evil's um, held up. But then these, you know, live action video, I guess. So I guess you can't really compare that. I mean, okay, like, if we're being fair, uh, Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 2's um, CG cutscenes. All right, they look like ass today. There's no empty space. Okay, I can't really defend that. I like them for what they are, because they're fun and they're silly. Looks like the dancer's room, yeah. But there's no denying they are a little bit asked. Can we not have like an item box or something? Oh, ask and you shall receive, I guess. I was going to say, we've literally had one item box. And we can save the game as well. Jesus Christ. I thought I was going to have to rely on like save states. Which I really don't want to do. But, you know, at the same time, fuck it. I don't really give a shit if I have to use save states. Okay. I don't know if it's held against us for saving. I have no idea. Uh, let's put some items back. Uh, right. I guess we don't want that. I mean, this Kento ticket, I have no idea what that's for. We probably don't need the shotgun just yet, question mark. We've got a full... I mean, we've got so many key cards. We've got four key cards using up our inventory, which is... Do you think that's enough? Is that enough key cards? Is four enough? What about mail? Do we have any mail? Uh, Manual? We didn't have this before. Save. Game data. Requires access card. I right, don't know what that's about. Requires access card. We don't have... Okay, whatever. Um, mail receives incoming mail. Unreceived incoming mail cannot be viewed twice. Unreceived. Item. Replaces items. Man, the trans translation in this game is... Ass. We'll store 256 items maximum, yeah. That's a very standard limitation of the time. So does that mean we can't read the manual again? Okay, we can. Desert Moon, the unknown story. Situation at the Desert Moon. Movie director Randy Jones, 55, is the producer of the controversial Desert Moon. His staff, however, seem to be very poorly treated. Incoming mail service cannot be for personal use. The budget for the building just won't allow personal mail. <laughs> personal mail? Okay. Is that all we get? I guess so. Personal mail? Alright. Uh, health of foods. I mean, is mail expensive? Restore your health. Health of foods. It takes time for meals. And you're so busy, you have no time. Your troubles are over. On sale now with Health of Foods. Delicious meals are ready in a jiffy. Rumour has it, even a certain company president loves it. Well, that gave us nothing. Okay. Bow Beverage Co. Get refreshed with drinks from Bow. Still getting uh, supplement nutrition... Still getting supplemental nutrition from food? With foods, you get thirsty. But liquids supply nutrition faster than foods. With our newly available bottle container, you can revive your energy levels like never before. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, that's a bit of fluff. 
A bit of world building, if you like. Do you remember, like, the botany book, though, in Resident Evil? That actually explained to you the benefits of mixing the herbs? I guess they were going for that kind of vibe, but they just couldn't be bothered to explain that. That's food. We have a food bar. So we can search these, which is cool. Right, I'm guessing we can search the computer. If we can get around the computer chair. Right, what do we have? A file. I shall read the file. A-618. Should an emergency occur in the casino area, the computer's security system is activated. The computer is designed to automatically seal off the casino area. To override the security system, three ID cards are needed. After the three ID cards are used, a one-letter password will cancel the casino area seal off. Right. When the casino area seal off is aborted, security C is automatically implemented. At this time, quickly evacuate to the Screaming uh, Moon Horror Museum and wait. Right. Can we use all of our security cards here? The computer is on. Well, jackass, I can see that. Welcome to the Screaming Moon. Press the Enter key, aye? Uh, choose your first ID. Uh, yeah? Oh. Right. Okay. Ah, we need to make screaming. Okay. Your ID is incorrect. Okay. Alright, so we're not going to... Let's use Nancy. Cheryl. And Susie. Oh, not quite. So, do these have to be in an order? So, Legan. Legan gives us a lot. I could actually sit here and work this out, but I can't be bothered. Ooh, so close. We missed the M. Oh, one letter. Okay. Oh, right. I was going to say, to be other, uh, to be honest, it's probably not that hard anyway to like work it all out. Do we still have all those security cards in our pass in our inventory? No, they've all been used up now, apart from Nancy. Do we need the Nancy code anymore? I don't know. See, if I'd had this game back in the day, if I was a kid, I would have enjoyed this. I really think I would have. Like, I'm not sure why this game was judged, at least so far. I mean, okay, we're only three videos in. But I don't understand. There are signs of violence. Gee, you think? Like, I don't understand why this game was uh, judged so harshly against Resident Evil. Uh, right, let's have a little look. See what we've got in our inventory. We've got a food bar. I, I'm guessing, like, that's close to a full hill. Uh, I wish there was a little bit of information. I guess there is no information, though. Right, what I'm going to do, guys, I am going to save it. Is there, like, any way we can watch this videotape? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Right, we're out of time anyway, so I'm going to save this game uh, here. I'm enjoying this. It's fun. <laughs> it's wonky. I think it's fair to say that it is not as refined as Resident Evil. Especially considering this Resident Evil came out in 1996. Um, and this came out in 1999. So this game had three years uh, on top of Ari. But, you know, it, it's, it's fine. I would have enjoyed this. I really think I would have enjoyed this. 
I'm getting quite the Parasite Eve vibe from it. And that music, I tell you what, guys. This music that I'm healing, he healing, healing, yes, I'm healing the vibes. Uh, this music that I'm hearing right now is reminding me of Clock Tower. Now, I liked Clock Tower 1, but Clock Tower 2, we shall never speak of again. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And when we come back, I guess we can now progress a little bit through the rooms. So, till then, guys, thanks for watching.